Welcome back, everybody. This is the old man, and we're gonna grind on Zelda 2, jump into the eyeballs. See, that's his real name. Hey, at least you didn't have to jump into any of the eyeballs in the last video. Well, I guess you're right on that. So, we're doing more grinding. I'm sorry. I wanted to make it one video, so I went long on the last video, and I... Uh, yeah. So... So, yeah. Uh, about an hour's probably... I don't know, an hour's worth? Oh, my word! Is an hour's worth of grinding? We'll find out. Because uh, we've still got some. We've still we've still got a ways to go, I guess. I'm sorry, everybody. You can... Feel free to completely skip this video. This, this video is going to be very, very skippable. Um... I'm going to post it, but just so that you can get the whole narrative. I don't want to hide anything from you. Like you care. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to post I'm going to post it all cuz that's the freedom of not really having a lot of subscribers or viewers is I can pretty much do whatever I want. <laughs> and everybody the people that do watch them will just either watch them or won't and it'll be fine. Luckily, I'm not actually like this isn't my job. Unfortunately, I have a real job and it's terrible. But this isn't my job, so I don't have to like, don't quite have to cater to the crowd yet. I can just do what I want, and I will. Um, so what did I talk about last time? Talk about music. Talk about. They talk about. Uh, don't really watch movies that much. We're not big movie watchers in our house. Usually we watch Netflix, we watch stand-up comedy in our house, we watch uh, a lot of shows. Um, I watch IT Crowd. Like I go through periods where I just make a run through all four seasons of IT Crowd because that's that's my comfort food TV. And we just watched uh, The Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, and that was pretty funny. That was... Uh, um, from Tina Fey and the people that do 30 Rock, and that was good. That that was a funny show. I'm glad we watched that. Because I'd seen it on Netflix every time I go on there, and but I never watched it. But and we watched it. It was pretty good. It was funny. I recommend you watch it, too. What else can I talk about? Hmm... I can talk about board games. I really got into board games uh, last 2013, so two years ago, I guess. Um, because I'd started watching Will Wheaton's Tabletop, and I was like, oh, wow, that that's, looks kind of fun. And I've always liked to play board games, but I never really have... I've never really had a... Uh, you know, I was an only child, so I didn't... Who was I going to play board games with? And so I didn't have a lot of board gaming time. Uh, but the comic book store where I live has a game night every Fridays, and so I go to that and play board games with everybody. So I just recently bought Sheriff of Nottingham, which is really fun. I like any game that gets you to interact with the players and has some, you know, like, screw the other player over mechanics. Because I think those make for, those make for some of the best stories and some of the best nights when you're when you're doing a lot of interaction. And I like... Um, so I like games like Red Dragon Inn. That one's really fun. Uh, that's like one of, was one of our mainstays for a while. We'd play that almost every week. When we got together, it would be Red Dragon Inn. Um, I really like Munchkin. Uh, I really like Smash Up, even though nobody that I play with really loves Smash Up. I like Smash Up a lot. And I have most of the expansions that just sort of sit in the box because nobody wants to play it. Um, my wife tends more towards, like, she doesn't really do any board gaming, but she will tend more towards um, cooperative games. Like, she likes Pandemic and Forbidden Island, and and she can do Zombie Dice. My daughter does Zombie Dice, and my daughter whoops my butt at Zombie Dice. Oh my word, Zombie Dice and Uno, she's five, and she beats me at Zombie Dice and Uno. I don't get it. I, I just, I... <sighs> I don't get it. There's times when we'll make we'll play Uno and she will literally beat me every single time. She'll beat me she'll beat me three in a row on, on Uno. She barely even knows her numbers and in, in colors, but she whipped my butt at Uno. 
And Zombie Dice, she just she's a very conservative Zombie Dice player. She doesn't um, if she gets one brain, then she'll be like, and one uh, shotgun blast, she'll stop. She's like, ah, I'll stop. Okay. Whereas I tend to push it, and I think that's where she beats me because she'll just that, and she just honestly, she just doesn't get that many shotgun blasts as I do. It seems like every time I roll the dice, I get a handful of shotgun blasts, and she doesn't get any. Not fair. But she also likes Candyland and Sorry and, you know, like little kid games, which is cool. I'd probably like playing Sorry out of the, out of any of those. But I don't really like can Candyland. I I played that with my niece many, many years ago, and I, I pretty much hate Candyland for the most part. I hate Candyland. Yay! I guess just eight. Not, not, uh... Um, it's not... It's eight, not nine. I thought it was nine. I don't know why I thought it was nine. But that's good news, because that means we're almost done. <laughs> we're almost done grinding. Uh, because I will be... I'll be... The next one will be, um... Attack, and then I'll be done. I'll be done with that, and... Then the last two levels I'll get from doing the palaces. So that'll be good. So this is this is the last grinding that we're gonna have to do. And see, so I don't think this is grindy. This is what the last video was probably 20 minutes of grinding, and this video is gonna be probably another 10, 11 of grinding. So that's about a half hour of grinding and the game in, in total. And so I don't think that's very grindy. Certainly not dragon warrior levels of grindy and i if there's one game that i hate for the super the, for the super nintendo no for the nintendo it's friggin dragon warrior that game is basically grinding that's grinding the game and i hate it and and grinding and dying the game and it's terrible and i hate it and i've never really liked any of the dra dragon quest games even like even when i played i think it was seven for PlayStation 2, that was that was okay, but so grind. Even even that one, even in this day and age, it's so grindy. I just don't like it. I mean, I don't mind having sessions where you can grind because sometimes that can be relaxing and a bit therapeutic because you're just doing something automatically and your brain can kind of ah, and your brain can kind of you know just do its own thing. I don't like. Um, but I don't like games where the entire point is grinding, and you have to do hours and oh crud, and you have to do like hours and hours of grinding in order to get anywhere. I don't like that at all. Um, though you do have to do that in Lunar, and I really like the Lunar series. Urgh. Probably one of my favorite RPG series. I wish they'd bring that back. And they did kind of bring it back with the PSP. They did Lunar Silver Star Harmony. But I I didn't think that was a great remake. It was it, the problem with that remake was aside from taking out the graphics for the items so that it's now it's just text and you know how I feel about that if you've watched uh, the Gargoyles Quest video, I want to see the item. Um they uh, it's slow. The battles are slow. Everything's slow because it's more I guess they want to make it more cinematic, and so it's just, but it just ends up being flipping slow. Just slow. And I don't really like that. Slow. That's one thing that annoys me just in general about an RPG is a slow battle system. If the battle, if a, a, a random battle takes 10 minutes, that's too slow. Um, one of the things I actually don't like about Final Fantasy Tactics. A game that everybody loves except me, because it's too it's too slow and it's too grindy, and I just I don't have the patience for that. Now I still have the PSP edition of Final Fantasy Tactics, and I've gotten about three battles in, and then I'm like, okay, I'm kind of done, because it seems like leveling up your guys takes forever, the battle takes forever, and then you might not even be well prepared for whatever challenges come if you pick the wrong skills. So, I, I'm i not a big fan of tech, Final Fantasy tech. I did like the one on Game Boy. That one was okay. 
but for the most part, not a fan. So I never played Tactics Ogre, I heard that was wonderful, but I foresee the same problems <laughs> in that one, so I didn't bother. I did want to buy it because I was, you know, weirdly, you know, wanted it just to have it because I'm weird like that. But I did like the Final Fantasy IV, the Complete Edition, on um, on PSP. That was really good. That's if you and like I said, four is one of my favorites. So that I thought that was a really good remake. It even contains the interlude and the After Years, which I didn't play because I've heard they're horrible and I don't want to play them. And um, but I liked it. I don't think it will ever replace the the Super Nintendo version, of course, but. You know, what would really, what would really replace that? And I've thought about Let's Playing that, because that really is one of my favorite games, but that would take forever, and it's an RPG, and it's repetitive, but I'm doing repetitive anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I guess it just depends on what I want to do. Oh, come on. Oh, my word, bugs. Oh, of course. Get up there! Ugh. And that's why I don't like killing these guys. <laughs> Though I will to save time, because they are worth 100 experience points. And those guys are worth 10. So you can get 220 experience points by doing that. And we are almost done, y'all. We're almost done with the grinding for this game. Almost done. And then you'll be like, oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness, because this will be like two weeks of, of literally just when I post these. This will be like the long grinding video and then this grinding video. And everybody will be like, oh, my word. Are you actually going to play the game again? Yes, at some point I'm going to play the game again. See, we're almost done. We're at 42.59. Not too much longer to go. Boink. And this is the only grind, like I said, this is the only grinding that I do in this entire game. So I, you know, I don't think that charge is quite fair. If you're making charges against Zelda 2, The Adventures of Bubba, aka Zelda 2 Jump into the Eyeballs. And then my attack will go up, and then we will be done. I don't know why I thought the levels were 9. Why did I think that? I don't know. It's I remembered wrong. I misremembered. Yay! Hey, everybody, we're done grinding! We are done grinding. <clears throat> Let's go to the town and fill up, and then I will go grab that. This video's long. Anyway, I will go grab the uh, other heart container and then we can be done for reals. So, and then if you've skipped the videos, then I'll just magically have everything by the time you get to the next video. Won't that be nice? Now we'll beat the, the boss of the fifth palace. I should have enough uh, power and magic and whatnot to handle that, I hope. Back in the cave. Back in the cave. That's a reference you'll never get. <laughs> and it comes from uh, an old... Uh, this, this Back in the day, back in the day, nice job. Um, went to church with this one girl, and after we moved, um, after I moved, rather, she started doing, started like having a singing career, and it was not spectacular. <laughs> Um, and one of the songs was called Back in the Day, and it was basically just a bunch of references to the 80s stuff, and then they would sing Back in the Day. Oh, ew, what am I doing in here? Uh, another Stonehenge that I don't need to go to. We need to go to the... because I'm not entirely sure where it is. It's around here somewhere. And of course, if the encounter hits you on a square that's spiked, you need it. There it is. There we are. All right, everybody. 
thank you for watching if you did watch if you're still here after two grinding videos god bless you uh next time we will be fighting the boss of the fifth palace and probably going into the sixth palace uh so thank you very much and have a nice day